My name is Rajiv Pire. I work for Bristol Myers Squibb in Oncology Department. I'm a senior principal scientist. I'm Jeffrey Robel. I joined Bristol Myers Squibb about 24 years ago uh, as a pharmaceutical researcher. Right now, I'm an executive director within the Metabolic Disease Department. Edison said that invention is 90% perspiration and 10% inspiration. It's still that same way in drug discovery. Bristol Mars Squibb is actually one company that's very focused and dedicated to finding new medicines for patients in need. For most solid tumors, for a rapid growth, they need a robust supply of oxygen and nutrients. Biologists found out that these solid tumors have a very dense and highly developed vasculature system around them. A couple of decades ago, they found out actually that tumor does secrete various growth factors that induce and also help mature the blood vessel system around the tumors. It was theorized that if we can stop the process of this formation of blood vessels, then we could starve the tumor of its nutrients and stop the growth of tumor growing in other parts of the body. That was the main basis of working on this pattern. These types of molecules that are within this uh, invention are called VEGF kinase inhibitors. And what they do is they essentially block the angiogenesis or, or um, blood component that uses to feed the tumors that are actively growing um, in patients suffering from cancer. And by administering these types of compounds, what we hope to do is shut down the blood flow to the tumor and therefore stop the tumor growth. It takes years of clinical studies to find out whether compounds are effective or not. And right now the compound is in phase three clinical trials and we're hoping sometime within the next year or two be able to have a complete enough data package to take to the FDA to say this is a very effective drug for treating these types of, of tumors and cancers. And we'll get this drug on the market as quickly as we can assuming it has the, the right efficacy profile. New Jersey is a great place to do research because for Bristol Myers, there's proximity to great institutions like Princeton University, and also there are other pharmaceutical industry in New Jersey. If you really wanted to do world-class medicinal chemistry and pharmaceutical drug discovery, New Jersey is where you need to be, and it's still that way in my mind today.